Hi guys, Kevin Bieksa here. Preseason right now. I'm obviously not playing tonight. So you're gonna be a shovel boy and head out on the ice and see if any of the guys can figure it out. Wait, how long? See it better? I want them to think that I can clean the ice better than anybody who's ever cleaned ice before. Skates are on, let's do this. Sorry. 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 I might have hit Cam in the ankle a little bit hard with my shovel. Round two, we'll step it up a bit. We don't want to get uh, figured out too early, but we'll, we'll turn some heads this time for sure. Sorry. Beep beep, coyotes. My favorite animal. Beep beep, coyotes. Beep beep, coyotes. Thank you. I made sure there wasn't a speck of snow in the crease of the uh, opposing goalie. And I don't think he's gonna like that because I took a lot of uh, a lot of time in his crease and most goalies don't like that. Like I don't want to make a mockery. This is the NHL. <laughs> Let's do it. Some of the players that aren't playing are going to come down and they think they're posing for a group photo with the ice girls and myself and we'll see if uh, we can pull this disguise off on them. Who's got greasy or hair, me or Gibson? Chris Mason, get out of here. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I thought when I grabbed your ass, like you, you were seriously upset about it. <laughs> I think it went pretty well out there. Pretty sure uh, I turned some heads. Probably uh, the best first period I've ever had in this building, so I'm happy. See you later. Hey everyone, Corey Schneider here. Going to be going undercover as a guest services representative. And let's see if we can have some fun with a few of our fans of the game tonight. My, at least my boss didn't recognize me. That's a good start. Hello, sir. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Hello. What kind of jersey is that? Nico Heischer. Oh, he's a new guy, right? Yeah. Excellent. Excuse me, guys. They're having us as the rink staff handing out some stuff from the players for opening night for the preseason. So, hope you guys enjoy that. Thank you. You got it. I think that's uh, the guy you're wearing. So, I think that's who they told me it was. You guys find everything okay? You guys in your seats, you're all set? Okay, great. Excuse me, sir, I'm with guest services. I noticed you had a more outdated jersey there with Scott Gomez, so we thought we'd give you a brand new one. Wait, seriously? Yeah, and then we'll all go wrap by uh, Corey, Corey Schneider. Schneider. Yeah, we figured we'd give you a new one. Get it updated you so for you. Much. You're very welcome. Hey, Devils, here we go, guys. You guys see me every night at home games for four seasons, they recognize me. Ah, here we go, Red, here we go, yeah, here we go. Oh, I got one. All right. All right. Excuse me, young man, do you have a ticket for this seat? Are you in the right place? Oh, he didn't bite, huh? He didn't bite on it. I thought he was gonna really I thought he really was gonna buy that one. Alright, alright. Game over, man. Game over. Cut it. Hey guys, it's Ryan Kessler. Today I'm gonna see what it's like to walk in the shoes of an Anaheim Ducks fan. Let's go.
Who is this guy anyway? Hey Corey, can you sign my two please? Thanks, man. Getzloff carries you all the time, huh? Good to see you lost some weight over the summer. Can I get like this whole rack? This guy makes nine million. He's gonna take it for me. Thank you. <laughs> LA dressed their whole starting lineup. They don't have Kessler out there. I heard he's a king killer. Yeah, That's great. Cool. Are you from Anaheim? Yeah. yeah, born and raised. Who's your favorite player, pal? Ryan Kessler. He's pretty good, eh? They really don't pay attention. They really don't. Should we start the wave? We should do it? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, ready? Oh. One, two, three! Woo! All right. It's preseason. You have till the regular season to get your game in next. <laughs> hey, can I have your hat? Can I see it? I want to look at the autograph. Hey, buds. Thank you. You're welcome. How are you? Good. Oh my God, it's Kessler. How are you? I'm Ryan Kessler. Nice to meet you. Well, thank you for your support. I appreciate it. Hej, Peter Forsberg här. Nu ska jag förvandlas till Kent från Norrland och lura gäng hockeysnubbar här i Stockholm. Men först ska vi svinka lite grann. Ja, nu har jag fått sminket på mig här. Nu ska vi spela lite hockey. Tanken är att Foppa, förlåt Kent från Norrland, ska vara med på Huddinge Hockeys veteranträning. Och för att hans riktiga identitet inte ska röjas måste han till en början spela dåligt. Förutom smink, bruna linser och peruk är han utrustad med en dold mikrofon. En sån har också Jürgen som agerar mullvad i veteranlaget. Han har på skist på flera år. Kenta, börjar det hända lite i alla fall. Ja. Hur känns det då? Loflin är ju skeptisk. Loflin är skeptisk. Det är det, 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 det är det
Jag ser det här nu. Jag ser det. Jag ser Samlingar ute! Samlingar ute! Eh, nej men vi har ju en gäst här ikväll. Och det var den här killen från Husum som eh, en del tyckte inte vi skulle ta hit. Så jag tänker vi kan presentera han lite grann. Ja precis. Det här är ju då en kille. Jag fick en jävla uppdrag att komma hit ikväll och lira med. Jag vet inte om det var någon som kände igen mig men... Men jag, gillar, jag tror att Pelle var här borta och så tittade när jag skulle börja ta i. Titta på oss och du bara, vad fan, titta på banan istället. <laughs> ja, men jag spelar min första match i Elise. Det var ju, eller, det var högsta det var serien var här. 89. Ja, det var kul att få vara med i alla fall. Och, men jag har sagt att det är inte bra längre. Då liksom. ska jag göra som Ronald Dilnio eller någon annan. Bara så, fan, det är inte jag längre. Nu liksom. har jag tagit fel kille. Men... Peter, hur var det Jo, det var rätt kul. Det var, det var inte så lätt att vara så dåligt som möjligt från början. Men jag tror jag lyckades ganska bra. Hur var, reaktion, hur var reaktionen? Det var ingen som ville passa dig, såg du så. Nej, jag tror jag var för dålig. Det var ingen som ville ge mig passa. Jag åkte runt runt där från början. Ja, men det var ganska kul att vara på den sidan och känna sig inte behövd, kan jag säga. Så jag åkte omkring, men sen äntligen fick jag ta i lite grann. Sen är det inte som man tar i sig på kanske 80-90-talet, 2000-talet. Men jag försökte ta i i alla fall och fick, fick göra någonting. Då fick jag något pass på slutet. Hur var det att spela med, med Foppa? Var du en av de som blev irriterade? Ja, jag tyckte bara det var för Jon jag hade fått hit i början. Där. Jag skällde lite på Jörgen men det visade sig att han var ganska hyfsad på slutet. där. Men det började, ni började ana lite grann efter en stund blåa laget. Eh, vad var det som gav iväg att det var Foppa på isen? Ja, det var väl lite, lite blickar som man gav och släppte pucken lite snabbt. Där. Och sen började jag känna igen hans klubba och handskar där. Så började vi ana att det var han när vi började kika lite närmare på ögonen. där. Mm. Såg att det var han. Hi, I'm Clark MacArthur with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Today I'm Phil, employee of the month at Sport Check. What are you getting? I need some sticks. Oh yeah? yeah. A handy shoot. Right. Ready? Yeah. Nice little toe drag backhand shell. I'm trying to. <laughs> Never played, so. No. No. More of a racquetball guy, but don't mind the cameras are filming because I was employee of the month. So did you look at any of the leaf gear? It's 20% off leaf gear here today. Don't need that. No? No, not a Leaf fan? Go Habs go. Go Habs go? Oh. Hi, how are you? You need a hand with anything? Um, no, I'm just, I'm fine right now. You're looking at some Leaf jerseys, huh? She has a Lupel jersey? Can't beat that. So who are you anyways? I'm Phil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Phil, I swear, yeah. Phil who? Phil Johnson. <laughs> You're Clark McCarthy, is that right? Phil, employee of the month. Okay. Someone else said that too. Like I, I same I hair, same I hair. So this one slips, you said? Do you want to try it on? Yeah. You gotta see how you can move in it. Let's, um... Yeah, let me tote this up to the front for you then. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Attention all customers. Uh, it's 20% off all leaf sale for the rest of the day. Really got me working here now. It's a nice shoe right there. Anything else you're interested in? 20% off at the, all the Leaf stuff. You want to head over there and take a look? Or MacArthur's on a bit of a roll on. Huh? You ever see him? He's going pretty good right now. Yeah? We're going to do it? Yeah. Yeah? What a beauty this guy is. Put it inside. Want it inside or do you want to pull it over your back? No? Inside? OK. We finally broke the egg. Sold my first MacArthur jersey. Don't worry about these cameras. I was employee of the month, so they're just doing an audio thing on me. Yeah, so. All I do is sell. All I do is win. You know when you break in your skates, you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that's like, but I'm guessing they're probably comfy once you. OK, 
Okay, well, I'm Phil. Let me know if you need anything. Great, thanks, Phil. Enjoy the day. I mean, I had like four or five sales in 40 minutes. I mean, can't really beat that. And I sold a MacArthur jersey. It's not easy. Hi, I'm Nazem Kadri from the Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, here at the downtown Paramount Fine Foods location. Um, both to go undercover to see how the customers react, so it uh, should be interesting. Hi, my name is Samir. Uh, here I'm employee at Paramount. Uh, very excited. Very excited. Pretty nice. So, so I wipe it down or how? Yes? Okay. Both well shoulders, both well shoulders, hey! <laughs> and then we're just setting up on the right. Okay. That seems to be the proper way. Perfect. Oh! You really want bad luck. We don't need bad luck here, no bad luck. Yes. Let's try to take some Windex, my friend, and we can Windex. actually take some paper towels and we okay. can actually make sure that our Very nice. windows are clean. So here's what we're going to do. Hello. Perfect. We're very, very, right very right good. Now. Very good job. Very good. Very good job. I think we're going to keep you here. Yeah. <laughs> Promotion, promotion. Right away you want a promotion. Promotion. Right away. <laughs> Second day on the job. Done deal. Can you take table five for me, please? Table five. Which table is that? Table six, actually. It's the guy There's with the stripy shirt. Like and the, the bald head? Yeah. The guy in the bald head? Okay. Hummus. Yeah. There you go, sir. Enjoy. So I may not have been the best person to ask to do this, but oh, really? <laughs> the baklava is done um, at $26 a kilo. It looks very nice. It's good, right? It looks very, very nice. The only way you can tell if it's nice is you have to try one. Yeah, you, you have to try one. Mmm. That, that, mm. that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the best one, mm. I think. That's why I love, I love working here. Hey guys, how you enjoy the food? Very good? Yeah, you mind if I sit down for a quick second? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I've never had these fries before. I have to take one just to try, but it's my first day, so don't tell my boss. I just come here from, from Palestine, and I, I want to show my family that I meet new friends. So let me take a picture of all of us. Is that okay? Yeah. Can I do that right now? Yeah. I don't mind while we're eating. I'll, I'll have another fry just to, you know, just to keep you comfortable. Okay. Look, selfie for us. Yes. Bounce time. Cheese. Nice. My family is going to be so happy. Oh, yeah, I spilled the salt. I'm going to have to throw it. Oh. Oh, sorry, brother. That's what happens. You spill the salt, you gotta throw it over your shoulder, you know? No, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. That's okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Sir, could you just help me out one second? Hold on to these plates for just two seconds. That's good right there. So it's my first day, you know, I gotta try and try my best to put these here. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. Put those over there. Napkins. Okay, I put that in there. Okay, I'll be right back. One second, please. Bad employee. First job. That's okay. Next time. I'm sorry. If you, if you, for that, if you want extra bread, I bring you extra bread. Hey, boys.
Yes. This is your food? Let me tell you, I just I just started working here. Chicken. And, and I'm gonna be honest, I do not like anything on the menu, so don't order any more food. That's why I love I love working here. <laughs> All you can eat. Yeah, I just I mean I'm just first day, I just trying to look out for you guys, so just saying I and don't and don't and don't tell my boss either because he'll kick my <laughs> Alright, who's got this one? You know what? These fries look delicious. I gotta have a couple, buddy. I'm sorry. There you go, man. Have a good one. You enjoy that food, brother. You enjoy that. Hey there, Sens fans. I'm Bobby Ryan, and we are in downtown Ottawa, and we're gonna be doing some interviewing today and trying to find out if anybody knows who the heck I am yet. Talking Sens hockey, and most notably, what they did with the summer process of bringing in Clark MacArthur, Bobby Ryan, Joe Corvo, and, um, you know, just your feelings on what, uh, well, I guess we'll start with Bobby Ryan, what he can bring to the team. I think Bobby Ryan is a, um, a great acquisition. I like him, I like his stats, I like his attitude. I like everything about him. Talk about on the ice. What do you think about him playing with Spezza and, and those two formats in chemistry? What a lineup. Yeah. Spezza's a feeder, he's a goal scorer. That line has to be one of the top top three lines in the whole NHL. You would hope so. What can you tell us about Bobby Ryan? Because he's not very well known around here yet. Well, he seems again like a younger player and uh, hopefully hopefully some of these guys will turn into franchise players. It'd be nice to see that. Absolutely, you would hope so. He scored four, four times, he scored 30 goals and uh, that's in the dread at Western Conference. So yeah. we just need you to look right in the camera and say, go Sens, go. Go Sens, go. There we go. So we were just talking about the new topic here and the new acquisitions that the Sens brought in. Um, most notably Clark MacArthur and Bobby Ryan. Um, what's your take on these guys? Um, I'm happy that Bobby Ryan's coming in because uh, he's going to provide some leadership outside of uh, Jason Spezza and I think he'll just make everyone else around him that much better. Okay, well that's good. So you're calling Bobby Ryan speedy. That doesn't happen very often and uh, uh, I think he's going to like that. <laughs> good for him. I, I, I probably end up going to more games just because he's a name and people recognize them. Well, we're 0 for 3 and nobody seems to know so far, so I'm going to start carrying this around and hopefully it's a hint for people. I think I blew a tire in the photo shoot and did a little pose for the boys on my way by. What can you tell us as a fan about bringing in Bobby Ryan? Ryan will score 50 goals just like he did. 50 goals, that's that's a lofty bar, but uh, sure. we're going to take this back to him and let him see it. But just to keep it lighthearted, because Ryan's a bit of a... Um, a jokester. So this is what he did. He laid down and took half a nap. Um, but do you think there's a modeling future there for him? <laughs> no, stick to hockey, Bobby. Bobby, who's come into the city uh, recently and, and uh, has done all the media side of things, we found this and we just wanted to know if you thought there's a modeling career for him. Uh, it depends. What are we modeling here? Ice? You so, see he's you got the face of an angel, doesn't he? If you take this part of it off, yeah, he could model ice really nicely. That looks really good. You know, that's not nice. What do you know about who they brought in, most notably Bobby Ryan? Oh, I don't know, uh, not a whole lot about the guy. I mean, I've seen his stats. I've read some of the articles on the internet about him. Um, I don't know, he seems like a good player. So we're trying to decide if he's going to be a heartthrob by any means. So what do you think about yeah. that there? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely? <laughs> yeah. Quote that. We got that. <laughs> Ryan's obviously a goal scorer and Spez is a playmaker, so it seems natural. But what do you think they can do and accomplish if they mold well together right out of the gate? Well, I'd like to see them uh, obviously be both good pluses, even strength. Um, put up, you know, in the 80 to 100 point range each would be uh, would be something I think we're going to need. The question is, do you think he has a modeling career? Not a good one. I'm sorry, man. What's your name? Martika. Martika. Okay, that's a little different, and we like it. Would you notice him if he was standing right here next to you? Mm -hmm. You would. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. All right. We got one. Have you heard? that the Sens brought in Bobby Ryan this year. Yes, hi. <laughs> there we go, all right. What are the expectations for us? You're gonna win the Stanley Cup. Who's your favorite player on the team? Um, Probably uh, Spezza. Spezza, that's a great answer. And yourself, coach? You like uh, coach? Uh, no, no, I like Carlson. Carlson, okay, those are two good names there. Um, do you guys know anything about the new guy that they brought in, Bobby Ryan? No, no. No, not, that's a no from Ben. How about yourself? No. No? So you guys wouldn't know if he was standing right next to you on the street? Mm. Does this guy look familiar to you, to you at all? Mm, yeah. Yeah? You starting to figure it out? Karina has confessed that she is not a big hockey fan and doesn't know much about it, but we're going to pick her brain a little bit. Um, what's the name of the team here in Ottawa? The Ottawa Senators. There you go. Good start. Do you know anything about the new guy that they brought in, Bobby Ryan, the American kid? Have you heard the name? 
<laughs> Hasn't even heard the name, so you wouldn't know if he was standing right next to you at all. My friend's gonna kill me, but I have not heard <laughs> Okay, this is him. Does he look familiar at all? Have you ever seen him before? Um, I saw somebody dressed like that a few times, so I may have seen him around. Dressed like in all the yes, hockey gear? Yeah, like with the skates and stuff. Yeah, yeah. as a hockey player. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> no, thank you, I appreciate it. It's embarrassing. Uh, so I no, it's fine. I haven't heard of the poor guy. You know what, for, um, for most of it, most people haven't either, so it's okay. Yeah. No problem at all. <laughs> we appreciate it, though. Meillä on tässä Viljo. Viljo on joskus nuoruudessaan pelannut jääkiekkoa, mutta sitten on jäänyt vähän vähemmälle. Ja tarkoitus olisi katsoa, että miten vanhoilla opella pärjää niin kuin vähän vanhemmalla jäällä teitä nuoria vastaan. Että näyttäkää parhaan, älkää taklatko! Jos on vääränpuolinen maila, jos sä ootkin, jos sä ootkin raitti, jos sä pelaat toiselta puolelta, jos on päässyt unohtumaan, kokeile sillä mailalla. Hey guys, I'm Max Talbot for Boston Bruins TV, but today I'll be Tim, the interviewer. I'm here on St. Catherine Street in Montreal, downtown Montreal. I'll be asking some, uh, some Montrealers what, uh, what they think about the Boston Bruins and, uh, and the Boston Bruins players. So uh, follow me up and let's have a good time. What's up boys? I'm Tim. How you doing? Pleasure. Pleasure. We want to ask uh, Montreal people how do they rate their their sporting uh, sporting teams? Uh, Canadians number one for sure. Not, yeah. Oh yeah. I have the Habs obviously since I'm young. I mean I've been watching it since forever. Habs for show. Sure. Montreal Canadiens. Montreal Canadiens, no brainer. Yeah. Right here, everybody right here is a Habs. Yeah. Who would you think is uh, is the biggest rival of the Montreal Canadiens? Boston Bruins. I'd have to say Boston. Boston. Boston Bruins. Yeah, why, why do you hate the Bruins? I just don't like the Bruins. Yeah, I love the Bruins. You don't, you don't like the, the Boston Bruins, no? I, I'm from Montreal, so <laughs> I would be a traitor. Really, a traitor? Cause, so you like the Celtics, but not the Bruins, you hate the Bruins. So like on a scale of 1 to 10, like how much you, do you hate the Bruins? 10 out of 10. What's, what's the word? 10 what's 10. Uh, most hated? 10? 10, 10 is uh, you hate them very, very bad. 10 11. 11. 11. 11. Could you name uh, the two Quebecers that plays in the Boston Bruins? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Bergeron. Uh, let me think of the lineup. There's uh, there's one other French Canadian. He got, just got traded there. Number 25. Number 25. Played for the Penguins, the Avs, the Flyers. Oh, Dupuis. Uh, not Dupuis. Uh, Dupuis still in Pittsburgh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Max Talbot. Would that sounds. No the... way. They're 
Did you get a trade it there? Yeah. Guy won a Stanley Cup uh, a couple times. What the yeah. hell is his name? And Max Talbot? Oh yeah, Max Talbot, yeah. What do you think about like Max Talbot? Like you think he's He's old, but he's good for the locker room since they lost Sean Thornton. What would you say like if you'd see like uh, Max Talbot, like a Bruins player in the street? Like he's a French Canadian but still like Oh, if he's French Canadian, he, he picked the wrong team. He's uh, he's a disgrace to his to his city. <laughs> he's a disgrace to Quebec. <laughs> even even the province, yeah, disgrace to Quebec. A disgrace to my province. My parents will be very glad to hear that. I don't. I, I like. I was gonna ask you towards Talbot, but you don't really know him because I yeah. I didn't hear like very good things about the guy. Like I don't know. Yeah, I seen him. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. He's a he's a dirty hockey player. Dirty? In in what way? Ah, oh, he instead of cross checking you like, like normally, he goes right for the kidneys and back and stuff. Yeah, I watched him play. Right. Dirty hockey player. Like you, you don't. So you don't like him, like as a. No, I don't like him. Or I like Bergeron. If you see one in the streets, like, what would you say to him? Like, I wouldn't say anything. No? Give him a dirty yeah. look, maybe. I wouldn't say anything. Just give him a dirty look, really. Like, what's what's your your worst look you can give give a Bruins yeah. player? I, I'm Max Talbot. I play for the Bruins. All right. Yeah. You play for the Bruins? How you doing? Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. Don't yeah. hurt me. Okay. Don't hurt me. Oh, it's okay. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. I'm uh, I'm Max Talbot from the Bruins. I was going to say hi. <laughs> so, okay. thank you very much. Thanks. Can I get a picture with you? Of course. Of course. Thanks yeah. for telling me I'm a disgrace, though. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, I forgot about that part. Yeah. You saw the gray in my beard, eh? He's old. That's very nice. I know. I know I'm old. I know. Not too old, just old, right? We asked a couple uh, Habs fan Montrealers uh, what they thought about the Bruins and uh, Bruins players. So we got a couple interesting questions, and uh, it was very fun to spend time with them. Big success, so go Bruins! Hi, this is Jonathan Duran. We're in Old Montreal right now trying to find out what fans think about the new additions this summer, and especially the new guy named Duran. <laughs> Think about the expectations this year. What do you expect on the Montreal Canadiens? I think they're going the right direction. Yeah, nice. Yeah. What do you think about their new additions like Jonathan Drew and that stuff? Jonathan Drew, I think we needed a, like a fast forward. So I think uh, that's what we missed. And uh, yeah. Nice. How many points do you think he's going to get this year? Oh, I think he's going to get, uh, I'd say he's going to get about, I hope, uh, at least 80. Uh, nice. Yeah. At yeah. least 80. That's I good. Hope so. Yeah. Yeah. What would you tell him? No, it's not, it's not you, is it? No, no, okay, no, good. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. like, that's a good. I would no. say, uh, nice to meet you. And, uh, a couple of advice for him. You know, don't awesome take advice. Montreal too seriously. We know yeah. we're always hard on our fans. Okay. I think he knows that already. He's very mature, and I uh, wish him the best of luck. Okay. That's it. Perfect. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Sure. Kevin, been signed yet? Okay. Sure. I'll sign. Ah, do it. Do it. That's awesome. You changed a lot, man. <laughs> much for the for the good or the bad? For the good. good okay, thank you. Oui, ça vous c'est qui? Non, mais il est beau par exemple. Je sais pas. Oh, lui c'est c'est qui? Carl Arsene. Ouais, c'est bon, bravo. Uh, Alex Hemsky. Ouais, c'est bon. <laughs> ben, tu fais bien ça. Jonathan Drew. Oh, bon. <laughs> il pas sûr, lui? Non, non, non c'est pas. Bon. Parfait. Est-ce que quelques conseils à donner à Jonathan Drouin pour la ville de Montréal? Bon, il va faire bon à la ville de Montréal. Parfait. Il va compter beaucoup de buts. Merci. Combien ouais. de buts tu penses qu'il va compter cette année? Um, 39. Ouais, 39. Un, ouais. un mois de 40, c'est bon. <laughs> Merci. Merci. Ouais, on va vous donner un T-shirt. Ouais, c'est moi. <laughs> Merci. C'est qui votre joueur préféré ou le Canadien de Montréal? Max Pacioretty. Wow, wow, je m'entraîne avec Max. Toi, ton joueur préféré, c'est qui? Jonathan Drouin. Bon, c'est une très bonne réponse, ça. What do you know about Drouin? How many goals do you think that guy's going to score this year for the Canadiens? 25. 25, that's a good number. On a des grosses attentes pour ça. Parfait, parfait, des grosses attentes. On aime ça de mon côté. Au centre ou à l'aile? Oh, c'est lui qui pose des questions. Tiens, on va faire un switch. <rire> As-tu hâte de jouer avec Galli? Ouais, mais non, de jouer, jouer contre, c'est pas le fun de jouer contre lui. Je suis content de l'avoir dans mon équipe. Euh, même chose pour chez Weber. Euh, comment tu penses que Jonathan Drouin va faire à Montréal cette année? En argent ou non, euh, en points? Non, non, pas en points ou en. Ouais, position. 65 points, je pense que c'est réaliste. Ouais, ouais, je pense que c'est réaliste. Les attentes pour l'équipe cette année, vous pensez quoi? Vous attendez à quoi? Il faut se rendre au moins en troisième round. Okay, au moins, ouais, troisième ouais, round ouais. en série. Okay. 
qu'est-ce que je pensais que Jonathan Drouin va faire? 50 buts. 50 buts, ok, on va essayer. J'ai pas mal de, de boules à travers cette fois mais c'est pas grave, on va essayer. Hi, after a little trip in the old Montreal today, um, obviously figured I got some work to do, the expectations are a little high, but um, you know, that's the way it is in Montreal, I'm getting used to it, and I'm pretty happy about our day in Montreal, and I'm uh, going to go start training and skate tomorrow, so I'm ready for the season. See you in October.